Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you really how to do your ads with the Google Chrome extension that we have. Okay, this is this is probably the most useful thing, I think, in Hyros, so you should definitely use it and know what you're looking at. So if we go down to the, uh, let's just mosey on over to the Hyros Facebook. Okay, and what I can do right here is let's just go look at uh, a set of months. Okay, let's just look at, I don't know, Look at like February 2021. Okay, so we got these dates right here. All right, so obviously you can go into the top of this dashboard. And again, all the docs and setup and all that stuff is below this video. Okay, I'm not going to talk about installing it, it's very easy to install. But once you get this sucker installed right here, uh, I'm going to hit Alt H, that's the quick key to turn it on and off. We can go look at our ad sets. Okay, and so I'm going to have my correct Hyro stats right here in. Uh, the dashboard and so i can just go off of this very easily i can also go up here and load up different columns like revenue uh recurring revenue new leads and i can use this the same way i'd use the source board so when do you want to use this you don't want to use it for any deep analysis you want to use it for just looking at the stats okay and so again i can also go in here and verify these calls right here i can click on this and see okay here's the stats of everybody i can go and dig into the clicks and see all the data Okay. Again, going to our source report board is going to be a little bit deeper. But if we're looking off of basic stats, if you're just working off of revenue or calls, this is what I'm going to work with. I'm going to I'm going to look at this number right here uh, versus what I'm going to be seeing in Facebook right here. So I can see the more accurate numbers coming in, uh, which is extremely important these days. You can see right here we got three calls right here. Facebook report nothing. Okay. And so again, by clicking the number, we can go verify this. Look at the people coming in, analyze their stats, the whole nine yards. Now. What we can also do is switch between scientific and last click mode. Go to our attribution videos uh, that are in this course area to see the difference in those. They're very different uh, and they're better for different types of business models. So for example, call funnels and webinars, you wanna be using scientific. But what I like to do is I like to look at both at once, okay? So I'm gonna load both at once and I'm gonna see based on scientific and, and last click, scientific is again, very different. I'm gonna see if there's any different stats right here. So you can see we actually got way more uh, first clicks in scientific mode right here. So I can look at two different attribution models at once. Okay, and look at this. I got different different attribution coming in. And so I can use this to make generalized decisions um, based on this. So if I'm seeing something that's really different in scientific mode than last click, I might not use last click or I might want to opt for one. Or let's say scientific mode is usually my source of truth, but I want to see the last click as well. I can look at this all at once. Okay, we can also set the attribution, day of attribution, whether we want it to be, if we want the sale to display on the day the sale came in or the day of the click. We can ignore organic sources. So if there's any organic sources in the report or anything, we can knock those out uh, very easily. So they won't be included. And so this usually can actually increase your ad metrics. If we go and hit ignore organic sources, because a lot of times people will click your ad and then go through an organic source. Okay, so this is some very advanced filtering we're doing right here. All right, you can see our stats improved. Again, we got, we got more people coming in by viewing uh, the organic source, okay? So that's super duper important, okay? Be very, very clear with that. And so this is how you can use it. There's a lot of advanced filtering you can use right here. Um, and this is going to really make it so much easier for the run your ads. I, I use it, I barely even log into the, the dashboard anymore and I use this primarily. So many other people are like that. And this is by far one of the most useful features when it comes to buying ads and really measuring the exact stats that are actually verified uh, right in real time, right in your native area. So this is how the Chrome extension works. You should definitely check it out, it's very cool.